Politicians will use all sorts of things as shields to keep from getting criticized, wrap their ideas in patriotism or little kids or puppies or whatever. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger has to sort through that to tell you the truth, even when it is as awkward as a truth test in an ad involving a senator's mother's medical history. We want her to enjoy good health, and we want you to know the truth. I will never forget the day. This might be my most difficult truth test. Not because of the claim. It's pretty straightforward. It's because of who makes the claim. It's not only said by Republican Senator Cory Gardner, but also his mom, a cancer survivor. Cory wrote the bill to guarantee coverage to people with pre-existing conditions forever. No matter what happens to Obamacare. How do I... Um, my mom always taught me to say something nice, so let's start with a positive. Yes, as we told you last month, Gardner introduced this eight-line bill to ensure coverage of pre-existing conditions under private health insurance. But what Gardner's mom does not say, sorry, is that Gardner's bill is not necessary at the moment because Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act, is still the law. And the Affordable Care Act prevents insurance companies from denying you coverage because of your pre-existing condition. No matter what happens to Obamacare. This is not true. If Obamacare were to be repealed, insurance companies wouldn't necessarily be required to take you on in the first place. Gardner's eight-line bill states insurance companies would have to cover your pre-existing condition. What it does not include is this section from the 906-page Affordable Care Act. Guaranteed availability of coverage. Each health insurance insurer must accept every employer and individual that applies for coverage. If the Affordable Care Act were to be repealed, that guarantee goes away. We heard that last month from the vice president of Kaiser Family Foundation, a nonprofit that focuses on health issues. The Colorado Sun also reported that Gardner's bill has no such explicit provision. As we've told you in two previous truth tests, Gardner has a history of voting to repeal the Affordable Care Act or limit its funding. Requiring coverage for pre-existing conditions currently exists under the Affordable Care Act. Here's why this is a talking point right now. November 10th, one week after the election, the United States Supreme Court will hear arguments about a challenge to the Affordable Care Act and the justice's opinion, which will come out sometime in 2021, will determine whether or not it still exists. So, Marshall, uh, first off, uh, God bless Cory Gardner's mom. Uh, second, just to recap, Senator Gardner's plan to cover pre-existing conditions allows insurance companies to reject you in the first place for having a pre-existing condition. It just doesn't require an insurance company to take you on in the first place, which the senator's campaign is fighting back against, saying that it does exactly that. Although, based on what you just saw from the 900-page Affordable Care Act, there is a specific guarantee section that is not in Cory Gardner's bill, which also doesn't have a definition section of what different terms means. It doesn't reference what part of the United States code it would adjust, uh, something that's in many other Cory Gardner bills. It's like telling somebody you're going to give them an umbrella and you just hand them the stick part. All right. Thank you, Marshall.